Okay, so today I'm gonna go get my teeth extracted. Honestly, I'm hoping it won't be that bad because I already got my wisdom teeth extracted earlier this year and last year, and I'm getting four of them extracted. I'm getting two today, and I'm getting two six days later removed so that I can at least try to eat. Hopefully, it'll be good. Later. Extraction part one done. Part, part two next week. Yesterday, I was watching the Map of the Soul 1 day 1 concert. Bro, that was running from 3 to 5 a.m. I am so surprised I made it through that. It was so amazing though. Cutting to the clip where I was just dying to all of the songs that were happening. Tonight is day 2. Hopefully, I will be okay because I am watching this one on my own tonight. It's currently 9 p.m. I got some time to kill, so I'm gonna edit some videos because Saturdays I don't do my homework. That's sort of like a deal that I've had with myself, so yeah, I'm gonna edit a little bit and um, we'll see. So in the province that I live in, they allowed for us to apply for um, voting by mail and, you know, just to help lessen the amount of people that will be there when um, polling does open for general election. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to get this done today because um, I want to make sure I mail this in as soon as possible so that they count my vote. Um. I'm all done doing my mail-in ballot. It was actually really, really simple. Whee! Lock me in the car, sorry. Like you always gotta do something. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> Swallow, don't spit it back out. <laughs> we don't spit in this house.
here because we need to keep it PG. <laughs> Laundry time. It's crazy to me. It is gonna be my very last fall semester as an undergrad. I'm so used to doing a bunch of clubs during the school year and it really made a big part of my um, academic, you know, experience at UBC just so that I could meet lots of people and and learn new things and because really university is what you make of it you know if you are a freshman is that what they call them freshman in university try doing those clubs I think definitely one of the key things that helped me get a lot of connections was joining um, the first year committee at my university we actually had to do an interview and it was a really interesting interview uh, I had I think I had two other people there with me um, our FYC year was actually super close and really fun like we did a lot of great things together but it was also the fact that um, we really took the time to try to spend time with one another outside of just our club um, gatherings and meetings and a lot of us remained involved in the undergraduate society with um, doing other committees the following years. I really met some amazing people while I was in FYC. I mean, some of them are going on to do amazing things, going to med school, going to optometry school, going into dentistry. Like, it's really crazy to think like we were all just little fish in the sea. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna dump. Okay, I'm at the socks portion of my laundry and it's just it's to it. Yeah, I've done my fair share of clubs. A lot of my friends were always like, how are you so motivated to like stay on campus? Because I am a commuter. If I drive, it's only about 30 to 35 minutes. But on days that I bus, it's, it can be upward to an hour and a half. Because sometimes we have meetings that end at like 8 p.m. or stuff like that, or events that end late. And I'm just like, you know, those are minor sacrifices that I have to make in order to like have a good time and learn stuff and make those connections. And just like that, I actually finished folding my clothes. So I guess it's time for me to put these bad boys away. And I mean, it's only 10.40 p.m. But because I have to wake up at 7 a.m. for work, it is approaching sleep time. 